So Joaquin Phoenix in this movie is a little less crazy than usual. It's kind of refreshing. This is a review for the movie Her by Spike Jones. Let's get into it. So the movie Her is about a man who falls in love with his phone basically, like his operating system in the not so far future. And as much as some people would like to think that it's unrealistic, nowadays it can really be seen as happening. It's not that it's not that crazy anymore. If anyone has like gone online and like seen that one chick like who's a computer and she like talks back at you when you type things in, I can't remember her name, but you know, technology and the intelligence that it has, it's like growing and in this future in the story, you know, he this man who's kind of lonely, been through a breakup, you know, gets this operating system and, you know, she learns every day and she has a personality and she laughs. Her name is Samantha and they connect. Maybe it's through his loneliness or maybe it's just because, you know, she has a personality and she's just like a person in a computer. You know, it's realistic. It's believable. I totally bought it, <laughs> which sounds crazy, but... It's a really cool concept for this movie. I really, I liked it a lot. One of the one of the standout things of this movie is the colors, like the softness, like the salmon, the pink, like the the poster for this movie alone is so eye catching. It's so beautiful. It's so intense. And then the movie, the shirts that the main character wears, and like the walls and furniture, little things. Like it's very like pink and salmon and kind of like this theme, this soft colored theme, and it's, it's kind of cool. It looks really nice. The cinematography is really beautiful. It's kind of got this indie feel to it. Um, a lot of close-ups of Joaquin's face, like, yeah, a lot of mustache and face. You really get to see Joaquin a lot in this movie, which isn't a bad thing. He did a really good job. He's one of those really intense, like, method actors. He just gets in there. There was this one documentary that he made. I'm still here or something like that where like he was playing himself and filming his demise how he wanted to be a rapper and it, he seemed literally insane because he was playing himself technically even though I knew it was a mockumentary I could tell as soon as Ben Stiller came in there like I can tell it was like he was acting but he's got some balls for doing that like he doesn't like press he doesn't like you know, he doesn't care what other people think. He's just a really intense actor. And other than him being in the Masters, he was like still crazy. And him doing that role right after I'm Still Here was like, it just seemed like, oh, you're just still crazy. And in this role, he could be seen as crazy, but in that future time that he's in, it's pretty realistic. And he does a really good job. Like I really liked watching him. I believed him. And he was falling in love with this, this I was gonna say girl, but computer named Samantha. Samantha's voice is played by Scarlett Johansson and she has a really great voice. I think someone like I heard somewhere that she was nominated for her voice acting and I, I believe it. Like she does really she did a really good job. Her voice is just it's sexy as it is, other than herself. I won't lie yet, she's sexy. She is. I appreciate beauty. So her voice it sounded really it, it was like perfect for the role. This story is actually kind of sad as well. Even though it's believable that he could fall in love with his operating system, like his computer basically, you know that it's not real and that it would be hard to carry on and, you know, as a computer learns and grows and has a personality, like, there can't be true happiness in that. So, I'm not really spoiling any endings, but it's kind of a sad story. But just because it's sad doesn't mean it's not beautiful. It's still like a beautiful love story. Um, anyone who can relate with a breakup or not feeling loved or feeling loneliness, everyone's felt it. So everyone can kind of relate to them. And in this world where everyone is always plugged in to the technology and you know no one's like connecting with each other, everyone's kind of antisocial in a sense, even though they're surrounded by other people. You know, you can really feel this this loneliness. And I, I could understand that. And yeah, it's a good movie. I enjoyed it. And you might too. Uh, I'm done.